you are welcome to my channel where we want to solve a problem involving elix and the question goes like this it says draw one complete turn for right hand and left hand helices 44 millimeter diameter and 72 millimeter lead now the first thing you do is that you take your rule or let's say your t square and you draw an horizontal line this way you can see that and you also draw a vertical line too on that horizontal line at least at the center in this manner you can see that So this is where they are meeting now that is the center so the next thing you do is to draw the circle right what makes the helix is the circle and what is the diameter of the circle the diameter of the circle is given to be 44 millimeter if you need 22 half of the diameter from 0 to what this is 20 21 22 right and i'll place it at that center where the vertical and horizontal line meets and i'm going to draw a circle right so this is the circle that we have here now after i've done that circle after i've done the circle which i have here right the something I want to introduce you into is you're going to divide the circle into 12 and the way you can divide it into 12 is that you take what you use to draw the circle which is the radius and that is what 22 millimeter you place it at this point you strike up bisect one part cut the other part also you bisect here come to the top two you bisect left and right now you now take your rule and ensure that those circles those points are passing through the center line from this one here i'll draw a line but that line will be faint this way I'll come to other point two, taking my center line as a reference point. So this point will pass through the center to the next point. I'll come to the next point here. I'll do the same. I'll come to the next point here. I'll do the same. So I have successfully divided the circle into 12. Right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to draw what we call the what? The lead. And we have 72 millimeter lead. Now what I'll do is, if I project this part here, let's do it this way. I'll draw an horizontal line this way. That will be touching the circumference of the circle to the other side. I'll come here also. I'm going to do the same thing. I will pass through the circumference of the circle this way. You see that? Now let me pick a point. I can decide to take any distance from the circle. I can say, okay, let me take a distance of 5 or 10, depending on what I want. So I can say from here, I don't want the ellipse to touch my circle. So the distance should be this apart. It might be 5, it might be 10, depending on what you want. So that means my point I will draw a line going through the point I just marked this is what I have here I'll come here too I'll do the same thing this is what I have here you can see that so this is will be my zero my point zero and my point zero this is where i'll start my counting from 
right so if i draw here if you notice this if i divide the circle into two this will be the right hand side of the circle and this will be the left hand side of the circle so when i project the right hand side if i draw here it means we'll call it the right hand helix that means if i draw my left hand side we'll call it the right hand helix if i draw my right hand side we'll call it what the left hand helix so we're not told that it goes towards one complete turn right so in one complete turn means that what the lead is equals to what the pitch so our 72 millimeter lead here is the same as seeing the pitch so i'm going to measure 72 from point zero here measure 72 from point zero here so from zero to seven and this is 72 here i'll come here so i'll do the same thing too 72 here too this point right and what we have there for the 72 and i'm going to take my c square or my rule i'm going to just um, draw this to cover it up i'll come here also i'll draw this to cover it up this way so this is for my right hand and this is for my what my left hand now what i'm going to do is this i'm assuming since i took my zero here means that this point will be my zero right and here will be one two three four five and six is that taking and i can still repeat the same process six i can still come back again from um this is six i can start going to five four three two one zero so this is if you move from zero back to zero is one complete what revolution one complete turn so if you notice it that means this circle is divided into 12 meaning i should divide each of these into what 12 that's where i will now use what is called my line division method here in order to achieve this height right so if i'm doing that i'm going to come here i'll draw an inclined line from this point see what i want to do i'll do it up here i'll just draw any inclined line this way and i'll draw any inclined line at any angle of your choice this way right and i'm going to mark around 12 millimeter on that line as in 12 points on that line so if i start this will be uh zero this will be one this will be two then we'll move forward this will be three right the next one will be what? We have in four, five, six, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we have twelve. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing. One. Twelve. The reason is that I am dividing my circle. I divided my circle into twelve. Now with the skills using your line division method that I taught you in the previous video, which you can click on this link in order to assess how to divide your line, and we'll be having this. So if you want to watch this, let me just do one of them here. You should see. So if I place my C square right the last point the last line i will join them this way you can see that then i'll take my rule or my ruler 
and place it at the base here you can see that then i can start moving so i move this to go to the next point i'll draw i'll move this to the next point i'll draw i'll move this to the next point i'll draw i'll move this to the next point i'll draw i'll also this also to the next point i'll draw let's do that for every point this way I will do that continuously. Now, if you notice it, I can now hold this this way, hold this down, and move this to the other point here. So I can just easily get the other part too. This is this. Right? So it's still a manual one. This is what we have here. So when you do that, you will now start projecting each of those points downward this way. So if I come here, are we having this? Go to the next point. I'll be having this. Have this too. To the next point. I'm going to do that for every point. Is that again? I'll do that for what? For every point. For every point. For every point, I'll be doing that. This is what we have here. So this will be zero. Here will be one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. You can see that. I'm going to replace the same thing. What I did here, I'm going to do here. So this is what I'll be having. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Right? So what we'll now do next is this. So from here to here is 72 millimeter and that is the lead. So since it's one ton, we we'll call it a single start, right? And it's also equals to what? The pitch. Since we have one ton, which is we we'll call it a single start, right? We we'll call it what? A pitch. So what we'll do is, each of these points here, this is one and this is one here, I'll just drive this to go through this point, I can do it for both of them, like this, you can see that, I'll come to two, I'll do the same thing at two, we have three already there, Come to four, do the same as four. That's that. Come to five, I'll do the same thing as five. This way, all these things are faint lines. So, what we'll do this is zero point zero, meet zero one, 
we meet one two we meet two right three we meet three four we meet four this is the line of four meeting the line of four vertically and horizontally this is the line of five meeting the line of five the line of six between line of six now is now coming down again the same thing five we meet five four we meet four three we meet three two we meet two one we meet one then back towards zero so we have this same thing we apply here zero meet zero one we meet one these two we coming to meet two here three is coming to meet three here four is coming to meet four five is going to meet five then six is coming to meet six it start coming down again five meet five four meet four three meet three two meet two one meet one then we have zero horizontally so we're going to draw this using our what our french curve and this is what we are going to do now you use your french curve like i said you join at least three points together three french So we'll be having this here will be hidden line here will be visible because we are looking it from this side we are looking it from this side you are going to be seeing this side right but you will not see this side similarly when you come here you do the same thing here too and you're having something like this now if you're looking it from here you're going to see here but you will not see here right so this is what we have here so we'll call this the uh, right hand ellis we call the left hand ellis so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share thanks for watching